Hey Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with another box rip video. Yep, that's correct. Porter uh, picked up a couple of boxes of 2024 tops, a Series 1, what is it called? Super, Super box? Super box, yeah. And then some uh, 2024 Series 2, what, just a hanger, a value box? A uh, blaster. Blaster. Some gifts from some uh, school friends uh, from a recent get together. And so, we thought today would be a great opportunity to show more new cards for the 2024 Topps Series 2 run. You have Series 1 complete, so I think with this one you want to show more of the hits mm -hmm. uh, and maybe cool rookie cards. Now, with one of those super boxes, you get some extra stuff. You get the uh, big jumbo card, which we're given to Cotter. Which was a Christian Yelich. Yep, and then you get the companion card and then something really unique. Which is a pin, and I got... The Mookie. That's pretty cool. And you've gotten a Acuna and An Otani. Otani. Both from last year's tops. Yeah. I like those. Those are cool. And they are yeah. on TCDB, so they do technically count as a quote-unquote card. card. All right. Now moving into the inserts. A Royal Blue of Danny Jansen. A Jordan Lawler rookie. And Ronnie Mauricio Rookie. Okay. I don't know either of those guys. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> what you get with some of these Topps cards. You don't know who they are. Yeah. Big Hurt. Yeah, obviously on the 89 design. And he did not have an 89 card. Yoshida Rookie. Then another Yoshida out of 999. This is like a blue sparkle crackle. Yeah. Whatever it's called. Um. Then a Freddie Freeman, Stars Ben Albi Chrome, Ozzy Albies, and Nolan Arenado, home run challenge cards. Kyle Tucker, greatest hits. So I should also say with the value pack, you get, uh, or value box, you get a pack of those. I don't silver know what you pack call it. It's card. kind of a silver pack, yeah. Silver pack crackle foil, I think, what it's called on TCDB. I think. Uh, Eduardo Rodriguez. Shout out to Tiger727. Jordan Westberg, rookie. Chris Bryant. Gabe Moreno. And a Haseon Kim. And then, as we were talking about earlier, the companion card. And these pictures are different than the regular cards. This is a Jordan Alvarez, and they didn't have this last year, but this year, the number always has C-O-T-B before the actual number on the card. And They're doing a much better job for yeah. collectors. Soto. Vladdy. Trout. Harper. Freddie Freeman base. Corbin Carroll. J Rod. Lou Bob. And George Brett. I thought that was that was really cool. I like that image. He was yeah. such a great third baseman. And now moving into series two. And a couple of cards that were in here that I pulled. And then there's one big rookie card at the back that I also pulled. And Eloy. Nikki Two Strikes. Shout out to Vince over at the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. And who everybody is saying <laughs> should be an all-star because he's that bad, Martin Maldonado. Yeah, there's been an online campaign of trying to vote Martin Maldonado in as he is... Uh, been struggling. Uh, and, you know, you get your representative, so we'll see. Zach Giloff, rookie. And the Lindor, shout out to Tim. Tim and Jack. Shohei. Uh, got a Trey Turner. I do love this year's stars in the MLB design. Yeah, they're way better than last year yeah. and the year before. Randy Rosarena, all-star. Fan favorites, Bobby Witt. They brought in some new inserts this year, like covering the field. Yeah, and we, and we really like this next one. It's the uh, airport codes for city to city. 
So Atlanta's not hard to tell, but you were questioning. I think we saw one was MDW for Midway, uh, for Chicago. And then what was the no, other one? No, Dallas, no, no. Fort Worth? Yeah. Yeah, DFW. And then Los Angeles is LAX. And we were watching a TV show that we just finished that was based out of a plane crash that was supposed to go from Sydney to LA. See if you can guess. We're not going to say the name of it. Love that Abreu. And they and for those of you on TCTV, they finally added the holiday series too. So we had to wait a little bit for the first ones. But yeah, we're not going to mention the name of the show. So if you know of a show that came out in the early 2000s about a plane crash. That was going from Sydney to LA. That ended horribly. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, well, the ending was kind of sad as well. It wasn't, yeah. yeah. Spoiler alert. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I love this because uh, this is the old Marlins. That's the Marlins uniform I remember with Benito Santiago, Jeff Conine, Charlie Huff. This yeah. is a great card. Jeff McNeil, Aqua Sparkle out of three ninety nine. dollars And last but not least, my first... Shota Imanaga, rookie. Well, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, his recent uh, struggles. So he took a picture with the Chicago Sky stars, or I should say rookies. One of them being, uh, what's her face, Angel Reese. Yeah. And since then, he's not been performing well. So there's like a meme that shows him. It's in a between, curse. Yeah, in between the two girls. And, um, uh, and, and. And they dwarf him. I mean, he is, I don't know how tall he is, but they're much taller. And so there's the ERA before and ERA after. Uh, so, you know, give give Chicago sports fans an opportunity to think of some sort of curse, some sort of reason outside of just, hey, it's a long season. People struggle. Yeah. Uh, and both uh, the north and south side of Chicago baseball teams are not very good. I think since we've got since we lost Ricky Renteria as our manager, because I think he got fired. Right? He did. He lost his job. Yep, yeah, that's correct. After the COVID season, I think with him gone, we haven't been doing very good. No, we had. I mean, we did go to the playoffs back to back years. That Ricky yeah. Renteria is going to turn into minus. I mean, Lovey Smith took the team to the to the Super Bowl. Ricky Renteria is a lot like Lovey. Everybody now is like, man, I wish we would have had Lovey Smith back. And a lot of White Sox fans are like, man, I wish we had Ricky Renteria back. Like, he didn't lose his job. And at that time, you guys were looking for something different. And it's the same thing with Lovey. It's a lot of that revisionist history. But, um, yeah, White Sox are, are rebuilding uh, after a failed rebuild. So it's pretty embarrassing. Yeah. This was a lot of fun, though. 2024 is a great-looking product. Uh, you had a blast ripping into it. Hopefully in the coming months, we'll have some more updates on your Series 2 climb to completion. Thank you all for watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.